Why is it that in Islam, the, resp the responsibility for financial provision is 100% placed, you know, squarely on the shoulders of men? I believe one of the reasons for that is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is recognizing that being a mother, you know, uh, going through pregnancy, you know, going through the breastfeeding period, going through labor, all of the things that we go through as mothers, so all of these things are such a huge task that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want to add extra pressure on the mother to then also be the financial provider.